All right. What is up, folks? Today we are working on a few things, actually. Um, this is going to be... <clears throat> it's Friday, so I'm here for uh, an extended weekend. And enjoying the beautiful snow. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful today. Uh, the snow here... Uh, in the trees and everything man it's just nuts it's beautiful so a um, couple things wanted to do today first was get prepped and ready for maple season so maple syrup season which is probably going to be around february so we got about a month month and a half out currently and wanted to walk back in the back of the property start walking around i completely forgot about doing it in the summertime so the trees are not marked however I did take note that there is a lot of maple. I don't know if it's sugar maple, black, silver, or red. Um, but we're going to go walk around and do that today. We are working on a little bit more of the insulation in the cabin. Really not so much insulation, just insulation panels. But before I get too far, I wanted to come out and actually remove the solar panel. So that is another thing we're hooking up today. We have the solar panel here on the little shed that we have off the driveway by the pond, the cabin's over there. And this was, before the cabin was built, this shed was actually something we picked up off a family member for free, so it's been very helpful. But it was where we kept our battery and, and where we would charge our phone our phones or whatever we had, uh, drill batteries, and um, with that we hooked up the solar panel. So you can see here in the back we have the controller, the wires, the battery used to sit right here, and then the wires ran up to the solar panel. We're going to remove this solar panel from the top of here, which is not really uh, bolted in too much. I think it's just some long screws, Phillips screws that I put in there and take the controller off and we're going to move it over into the cabin. All right. So I got the solar panel taken off of the shed and got the controller box all over to the cabin. Nothing's hooked up yet right now. I'm trying to figure out which way is the best way to set this up. Again, this is nothing elaborate guys. This is not like a um, some professional setup, long-term living. This is charging cell phones. Maybe have a small TV on, possibly just for some entertainment, but really uh, charging batteries, charging lights, and just having that little bit of electricity up here. <clears throat> the sun is not out now, but we have the back of the cabin. And the sun is basically on the back of the cabin uh, 24 hours a day actually when it is the leaves are on the trees it actually is not so we will be thinning these out but for the winter time we're gonna put it right there on the cabin I'll probably put it right here on the side in between the second and third rafter I think is where we're gonna put it we have the it's just a 100 watt solar panel with the controller and like i said it's nothing professional so just gotta try to figure out where to hook this up and we'll just run the wires underneath so that actually worked out really well <laughs> and again um that, that actually yeah worked out real nice so this is a 12 12 pitch so it's at a pretty good angle. It's low enough that I can come back here with a um, broom or something that we have here and uh, clean it off as well as low enough to that the cables are not having to go through the roof. So I can just kind of tuck them under and then go up through the, the insulation. All right, so we're inside. The idea is to put the controller on this four by four Probably up, I would say, pretty high, just to kind of keep it out of the way. And the, where's that? One, two. So the cable is right here. Oops, sorry. Cable is right about right here. 
So we are going to tap through. Actually, I'm gonna run back outside, take a screwdriver and put it through here, just so I know. And then we're going to start mounting the controller box. If you're interested in this particular solar panel setup that I'm using, this is a Renergy uh, combo kit that I purchased off of Amazon for under 300 bucks. I think the battery, it was 240 for the solar panel and the controller cables. And I think I paid another hundred bucks for the battery. So let's get started on what we got next. So we're just going to slide these on out right now. Actually untangle as much as possible. All right, slide these outside. And these are pretty cool. These actually quick, if you can see that, they quick disconnect and reconnect, which makes it super cool to uh, and super easy to use. They're really, really nice. So, today that wood burner is earning its, earning its weight. It's pulling its weight. Get some heat. Right, so we got the panel hooked up, the controller hooked up. And it's not the prettiest right now. Again, this is just temporary for the season until we get around spring and we start putting the boards up and then we will uh, finalize where we're running the wires. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna connect this positive terminal and hopefully we get that battery signed to flash. The green is letting us know that the battery is hooked up and the solar panel is charging. So we are currently charging our deep cycle battery off of solar. Day two here, everything's uh, still pretty cold out, but we have the, the wife here today. Using this time after hunting season to There you go, you got it. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Just has a fascination with rocks and little twigs when she's supposed to be cleaning. <laughs> she just disregards all the big stuff. But really, like I said, we're just cleaning up around the pond, uh, around the property now. A lot of the dead stuff. You can see. You gotta pay attention. Just, Don't put that on video! Jess just ran into a tree and ripped the trailer right off the back of the floor. Tommy! Don't put that on Damn, on video. I don't know how the hell I did that. I was going so <laughs> slow. Right. Right. Oh, oh, there's Gizmo. He's all excited. Mommy's running into trees and stuff. We got this big tree. Actually, you know what? I need to go gas up the chainsaw so we can chop up some of this stuff and clean some of these trails up. So we just wrapped up this back half. We had our part of the cotton wood fell down and uh, landed over in the briars. So we have to get this out of here. This area we're actually going to clean up. This all was, uh, so I'm not quite sure what it was. It was like that, that nastiness right there. So. This back area, this is actually where our burn pit's at. So we're actually going to probably end up cutting some of this down too as well, but cleared out this area now, which is nice. Um, and this will be opened up and we're actually going to melt and plant grass. Get 
never ending fires. All right, and that is it with this weekend's video. We have the solar panel, we did some cleanup, we checked the property and blew apart some pumpkins too while we we're at it. Um, our next trip is going to be back up after the New Year's. So until then guys, stay safe, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, happy new year, and um, do us a favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified about new videos. And I will catch you guys later.